One of my favorite features about the Bamboo Handy app is this 30 day trending tab. I get to see all of the most popular models that have been uploaded to the app in the last 30 days, but there's a lot to go through on this 30 day trending tab. And this is only one website. There are hundreds of other websites out there to find cool STLs to print out. Today I'm going to fix that for you by going through tons of different websites and checking out their 30 day trending tab and finding you the best of the best from all of these websites and giving you one nice list to go off of. There's going to be three categories for the items that I'm showing you today. The first category is going to be three practical prints. This is my favorite type of print, a print that actually does something useful. The second category is going to be quick prints that all take less than one hour to print out. So if you're on a time crunch, these are for you. And third category is going to be art and just cool things that just kind of look cool you know but that only adds up to nine so that last one to get to ten is gonna be something that I pick and it's gonna be completely random who knows it could be anything there are gonna be chapters down below so you can skip to any portion of this video that you'd like so if you're looking for those quick prints slide up and click that quick print button now this is a series that I would like to start where every single month I check out the previous 30 days trending and give you those best prints so let me know if you guys want to see this every single month I think it's really cool personally but my opinion doesn't matter, it's what you think that really counts, so let me know. And of course the link to all these are going to be in the description down below and everything is going to be completely free. I didn't want to pick any paid models. But with all the groundwork out of the way, let's get started with the first category, those practical prints. Okay, I've got three prints for you in this practical category that kind of span every aspect of life. You're gonna see what I mean by that later. The first one is gonna be the strong pocket ratchet that is fully 3D printed in only a couple of hours. This mini ratchet does take a little bit of assembly, but there is an awesome assembly video attached to this file, so it is super easy to put together. It's a super easy print. Being entirely made out of PLA, surprisingly it is very strong. And there are multiple different options for what kind of bit that you have that you want to be able to use with this thing so you can print whatever fits your needs. And this thing is super small, it literally fits in your pocket. And it actually works surprisingly well. Here you can see I am taking apart my A1 Mini just for the fun of it, just to see how well this thing works. And look at that, it even makes the iconic ratchet noise. It's got a selector switch so you can tell it which way you want it to ratchet if you want to tighten or you want to loosen something. And then the middle is kind of like a standby mode where it won't ratchet either way and it also helps protect it from strain when you're not using it. The second print in our practical category is going to take 75 grams of PETG and two and a half hours of your time. And you may be wondering what is that? Well, it's a grocery bag carrier. For all those people who are just like me who refuse to take more than one trip inside with your groceries, this is the solution for you. This thing is printed out of PETG. ETG, so it is super strong and super durable and it can hold all of the weight that you might need to put on this thing. It has a super comfortable grip that fits in your hand very well and it has hooks on the side so that those bags are not going to fall off anytime soon. You'd have to do basically a backflip. You'd have to do a backflip for these bags to come off. So if you can do that, I'd be impressed. You can fit a lot of bags and a lot of weight on this thing. Like I've got a backpack and two bags on there and it's a it's not even budging. This thing is solid. And the third and final print of this practical category is going to be this fully 3D printed counter. This is going to take a little bit more time. It's going to take 4.2 hours and two plates to print out. And the supports were a little bit tricky to get off. I just thought that I would let you know. I did have to use some pliers and about 10 minutes of time, but eventually everything came off clean and I was able to assemble this thing no problem following the tutorial that is on the Maker World post and get this thing working. I might not use this for anything very official because every once in a while it does skip a number, but for being fully 3D printed, I mean, this is impressive. I did print out the mechanism pieces in PETG because I wanted them to be a little bit stronger than PLA and everything has worked great for me so far. Now that I think of it, maybe that's why it's skipping every once in a while because I didn't use what the creator said. Just print this in PLA and then you probably won't have any issues, okay? This fully mechanical counter allows you to count up to 999 of whatever you're trying to count and there's also a super easy way to reset it. You just gotta push in the bar, spin the little dial on the side, and you're gonna see all those numbers get collected and rolled back to zero. Before we get on to the next category, I just wanted to take a second and say that if you like this video, you should subscribe. That's it. 
All right, this next category is the small under one hour prints. But just because they're small does not mean that they are not useful. And we're gonna start off with an absolute banger of a quick print. This is the Snap Cable Clip Organizer and it only takes 18 minutes to print out on any of your bamboo printers. These even use less than five grams of filament. So if you're really just trying to get rid of that very last bit of filament in the roll, this might be the print that you want. These things are super easy to print with this cool print in place mechanism. Shout out to the designer, this actually works works really good. And there are multiple different sizes depending on what kind of cord you're organizing. I printed out the 15 millimeter diameter ones to test them out on this cable right here. Overall, this is just a very clean and very quick and easy way to store your cables. I'm actually gonna print out a ton of these and start to take over my cable management again. For our number two quick prints, we have another print in place mechanism, except this one is a tire tread depth gauge. Again, this is fully print in place and this one prints out in a total of 21 minutes. If you don't know what a tread depth gauge is, if you're driving, you probably should, but it allows you to check the depth of your tread. Can you believe it? It's very basic, but it's very important to know how much tread you have left on your tires to make sure that they are safe to drive on or not. And some countries actually have a requirement for how much tread you need to have on your tires to be able to drive. Now that I've printed this one out, I'm gonna throw it in my car just so I always have it at the ready. And the final quick print I have been seeing all over Maker World for a long time, and it is this God of War keychain. I printed this out of my bone looking filament and it turned out absolutely amazing. The color on this filament is awesome and it fit this design super well. This is designed to be a keychain so you can throw it on your keys, on your carabiner, whatever you want. And I sized this one up just a little bit because I wanted to get a little bit more of those details in there and it turned out absolutely amazing. And this color actually looks very similar to the color the creator used, which is exactly what I was going for. And I almost forgot to mention, this is only gonna take 39 minutes to print and seven grams of filament. Okay, now we can get on to the next category. And the final category is gonna be art slash cool things. I literally put that right in my notes, art slash cool. That's how I categorize things in this category is just cool. That's it, they just look cool. And sticking with a kind of similar theme to the last print, this is gonna be the Grim Reaper statue. And I basically chose this one because I wanted to test out this green marble PLA that I got from Sunlu and it turned out awesome. It did take 6.2 hours to print, quite a bit of filament and quite a long time of support removal. And there was a bit of post-processing required, I won't lie to you, I did have to go around this thing with a lighter because there was just strings everywhere. But after maybe 10 minutes of post-processing, this is the final product. The details on this design are just out of this world and this creator has a bunch of similar designs. If this is something that you like, I would definitely recommend checking out this creator. Speaking of creators that have an amazing portfolio, this is Philadelphia. And this is one of the free prints by Micropolitan on Thangs.com. And if there is something else that you are looking for, maybe your home city, I am willing to bet that it is on this maker's profile. However, some of them are paid. So I didn't want to include that one. I wanted to include the free ones. This print definitely plays off of light super well so if you have a cool area that has some interesting lighting I'm willing to bet that this would look amazing on the wall. You can also scale this up or down as much as you want. The one that I printed out is 200% and it took around four hours to print out. The creator also left instructions in this file for how to make this multiple plates. If you really want to go above and beyond you can make this nine plates if you want and have it just be massive on your wall. This creator also has various football stadiums, baseball stadiums, all sorts of other monuments that you can print out so I would highly recommend checking out this creator if you like this kind of stuff. And the third and final item in this art slash cool category is gonna be this mushroom hanger. This is a two color print. However, they are separated into two different plates. So you do not need an AMS to print this out. And there's also a couple of different mushroom variations depending on what you like. I went with the classic Mario kind of look. This print has a super cool mounting method so you can mount this to the wall and then you can easily remove the mushroom portion later and just leave the mount. This one did require a bit of assembly and by assembly I just mean gluing the dots onto the mushroom and then screwing the uh, stem into the mushroom. Nothing crazy but I thought it's worth mentioning that there's a tiny bit of work involved and then you're able to hang whatever you want on this thing or if you don't want to hang anything on it you can just put it on the wall as a cool decoration. And finally we're on to the one mystery item that's fully up to me what it's gonna be. I don't know why I keep saying that because it's up to me for all of these other ones. I'm the only one deciding what goes in these categories, but I just feel like there's really no rules on this one, so it could really be anything. And I hope you are a comic book fan because this next one is a Batman string art. I've been seeing string art designs like this for months and months and months, and I finally wanted to print one out, and I saw this one and thought, 
that is perfect because it's Batman, it's a little bit mysterious looking, and it's just a cool process for the 3D printer to make. This was a super easy print. I thought it would be tricky. It was not printed out on the very first try on my A1 Mini. And there's also a stand included in this file if you would like to print out a stand for it. This one is another one that plays well with lights. So depending on where your lighting is, might change where you want to display this thing. So you can see that Batman logo just a little bit better. But that is all I got for you guys. Please let me know if you like these prints in the comments down below. Let me know if they suck too. I mean, you know, it is what it is if they suck, but I need to know for next time. Speaking of next time, let me know if you want a next time. Let me know if I should make this a series where every single month I check out the past 30 days, give you the best of the best in categories like this. I think these categories are good. What do you think? I hope you think they're good too, because I don't really know what other categories I could do. This just makes the most sense in my opinion. If you like this video, leave a like. If you really liked it, subscribe. And only other thing I have to tell you, is have a good rest of your day and I'll see you later. Also check out some of my other videos.